removing power lines in the new Luminar Neo is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello everyone, I'm so glad to see you. So you have a sneak peek at the Luminar, at Luminar Neo, the tech version, a tech release. It doesn't have all the tools in it, it just has uh, the erase tool and the relight tool, which we'll cover this week. But let's come over here to the erase tool and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use the new power line removal right here. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use the new power line removal tool to remove all these power in this image and it's going to do an amazing job now it's going to take about 16 seconds for it to happen so if you're sitting there thinking oh man that's a long time think how long it would take if you had to manually do that look look how incredible that did what what that did now i'm going to zoom in a little bit here i mean this did an amazing job removing the power lines all the way down here here now here it got a little too aggressive, all right? And so with that aggression, um, you can see that it got rid of some of the light. Well, what we're gonna do is this, using the erase tool, because we're still in it, I'm gonna come over here and let me uh, give, my, give you the full screen. And I'm gonna use a, a pen, just because it's easier to draw with. And I'm gonna come in here and just lightly bring back this area. Now, instead of hitting erase, right, what I want to do is I want to hit restore. Give it a second. Look at that. Boom. And it brought it back again. Let's zoom out so you can see the full, the full size of it. There we are. Now, I'm going to show you guys just a little bit of little tricks on the rest of it. So, but look, it did a, you will agree. Look at it. It did an amazing job getting rid of those power lines. But now we're left with a bunch of poles and, and what, what do we tell you know our, our kids or our grandchildren in the future were these wireless lights you know where are the where are the, the the wires for the lights so what we can do now is i'm going to show you how to use which we already did the um, power line removal now we're going to go back and use the erase tool but i'm going to show you what normally people do and this i was one of those people you'd come in here and you select all of this and you're like, okay, I got all of it set. And then boom, you hit erase and you get terrible results and you complain because see what's happening here is Luminar, again, using the power of AI, it has to match those surrounding pixels. So it's trying to take this big chunk like this and it's trying to match it and find another big chunk in this scene. A better way to do this, and to take a little more time, is I'm gonna hit clear. So now a better way of doing this is we're going to remove it sections at a time. So this way it's able to analyze, you know, all the pixels around it. So let me show you how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna come in here and let's get rid of this section right here. Now you're going to be tempted, hit erase, you're going to be tempted to want to erase all of it at once, fight the urge. All right, so we'll come down, erase, give it a second, am I hitting it? Yep, there it is. And I'm going to go a little bit further. Now, especially when you're with intersecting lines, Make sure you take your time there because I know mean, it was tempted for me to go all the way down. Look at that. It brought that in nice. And I'm going to get rid of this piece here. Erase. And then while I'm at it, I might as well get these out of here too. Again, I'm going to go right about to here because I see those pixels all the way around it that it could use. So that's fine. Give it a little second. Ooh, look at that. Now I'm going to attempt to zoom in a little bit. Let's see. Um, 50%. I'm pressing the space bar just so I can move this over. There we go. And then left or right bracket keys. It's going to make my brush bigger or smaller. 
I'm going to take right about to here, erase, and erase. And at any point, I, what I can always do, like you saw earlier, I can go back and restore any of the areas that I feel um, I was a little too aggressive with. And again, the only reason why I took a big chunk out of here is because I do see areas around here that it could read. Look at that. Nice. And now let's get rid of this. And one more. Good. And we'll get this part right up here. erase there we have it awesome look I mean look how incredible that was now I'm gonna go back over here and fit the screen so you can see it there we go I mean to me this is absolutely amazing this is the Windows version I'm working on so uh, the Mac version is gonna be out a little bit more for our text to use I got my hands on this earlier um, this week or earlier last week and I'm, I'm in love I'm in love with how it's able to do that we spent less than what four minutes on doing this now the other I might well, since I got you here I might as well show you watch this um, let's do the export I want to save it to my disk you know what? I don't think they have it on the Windows version yet nope so I can't show you that. I wanted to show you on the Mac version, they have it all set where we could export it onto the disk or export it to my disk and it was lightning fast. And we hit export, boom, and it automatically went. Because you remember, Luminar AI is a parametric editor. So what that does is it takes all of those commands we're doing and it stores them, stores them, stores them. When you're ready to apply them, now we see it on the screen, but when you're ready to export them and apply them to an image, that's when it takes a long time to go through and analyze everything and apply it to the image, then exports it. Here, the moment I hit, the moment I come over here and I close that window, boom, right there, all of those, Im all of what we just did is burnt into that image right here. Now I can go back to history and undo it, but the changes are made. So when I export it, it'll be lightning fast. All right. So guys, that's the first look. And I've only touched a little bit of the surface of the, the power of that tool. But notice it is with the erase tool. So it is with the erase tool. And it gives you not just a power line removal here, but you could also remove dust spots um, on your images. And that'll be for another uh, Luminar coffee break. But I'm really excited about this. And again, as long as we're patient, as soon as this comes out, you're going to be excited too. All right. Hey, guys, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Thumbs down if you didn't. But if you hit thumbs down, please write why. Um, so this way we can help improve and make these coffee breaks better. Well, I'm Vanelli. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you at the next coffee break.